Jason, not every not every cocktail needs to be something amazing. The Irish Car Bomb knows that for a fact, and today we're doing a holiday variation of it on 25 Drinks of Christmas Day 19. Let's get started. Hey there, hi there, ho there. My name is Michael. I'm a former bartender from the Kalamazoo, Michigan area. Today we're going to go ahead and do a variation on an Irish Car Bomb, which is a pint of Guinness in which you drop a shot of Bailey's and Irish cream. Uh... I'm gonna keep some of that intact, but most of it's gonna go away. And we're gonna do something just a little bit different themed around holiday um, holiday flavors with what I call the Irish Sleigh Bomb, because that's not tacky at all. The Irish Sleigh Bomb starts with us pouring a specific kind of beer, like how an Irish car bomb requires a Guinness. In this case, we wanna go for a pumpkin ale or something along the lines of a pumpkin ale. And in this one, in case, is a pumpkin pie spiced hard cider, a pumpkin pie cider. This will work just fine because uh, you really just want the pumpkin, you know, kind of rich flavors to go in there one way or another. Take that and pour that into a pint glass. Next up, you're going to need a uh, half an ounce or at least half a shot glasses worth of a pumpkin pie cream liqueur, or if you can't find that, rum chata will work just fine. Um, this one is Fulton's Harvest Pumpkin Pie Cream Liqueur. I use this in the uh, pumpkin uh, pumpkin Spice Latte Martini a, a short while ago, and that was quite, quite good. We'll go ahead and just fill up our, our shot glass halfway with that. Next up, we're going to take some Irish whiskey. You can use Jameson if you want, but I happen to be out of that at the moment and only have the Bushmills uh, Shelby Distilling Co. Limited Edition uh, Piggy Blinders Irish, Irish brew. So we'll just throw that in there to fill up the shot glass. And there you go. That is the accoutrement for a Irish sleigh bomb. Now an Irish car bomb is done by uh, taking your pint of Guinness and your wee shot of Bailey's and Irish whiskey and just drop it straight in there. This Irish accent needs to stop right now. I'm so bad at that. Yeah, so you're just gonna take your shot of pumpkin pie cream liqueur and Irish whiskey and just drop that in and drink it fast. <clears throat> That's fun. <laughs> That's fun. So just like with an Irish car bomb, the cream liqueur obviously curdles at the top. It's odd. It, it doesn't, in the context that we're using here because it's a pumpkin pie hard cider, it actually tastes like banana bread. Like straight up banana walnut bread. It's really fascinating. It's, it tastes like um, a good Jamaican rum, for example. <laughs> and it's really fascinating. Um, you don't, obviously you don't get anything but the major flavors of the cider and then how the cream liqueur impacts that. The whiskey is just there to proof it up. Maybe you can taste it if you know what to look for, but to be honest, I don't. <laughs> and I don't really want to look for it because this looks kind of like a uh, upchuck <laughs> and I'm not a fan of that. Not a sexy looking drink. I will definitely make the thumbnail uh, for this one. One before you drop the shot in, but uh, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, man, it tastes like banana bread. I'm not gonna lie. Try this, ugh. I got a milk curd in my tongue. Bad texture, bad texture. But try this combination at home. You will see, it tastes exactly like banana bread. Like straight up, like funky banana bread. It's nice, it's nice, it's really good. Well, uh, that's really all that I have for this one. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I just, I just kind of decided, hey, I, uh, we need, we need a thing, and this will be fun. Um, it will make a mess of your bar, so make sure you are ready to clean that up. I, I hadn't considered that when I dropped it in. I honestly thought it would be less messy, but oh well. Uh, <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this episode, click that like button down below, and be sure to subscribe to catch tomorrow's episode on 25 Drinks for Christmas. We're doing 25 drinks, new drink every single day, up until the 25th of December. You guys are going to love it. So thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great one. I'll see you around. Goodbye. Normally I take a sip of it as I leave frame. I'm just going to smell this one. It smells so nice. Fresh banana bread.